Hey y'all, so anyway, um, I basically found a little trick and before I go ahead and do this video, I'm gonna, let me go wash my hands and I'll be right back and show you, so. All right y'all, so I just wanted to show y'all a little trick. Um, you don't have to use emu oil, so it doesn't matter if you have emu oil or not, but this is sunscreen and you know when we, um, people of ethnic skin color, I don't care how light your skin is, um, they still call us brown. So, um, my face is a little bit sensitive here because I've been using my almond shine. I need to learn how to pronounce the name, but the, um, Kojic, the Kojic and Malik, uh, Malik Acid, or Kojic Acid and Mal uh, Malik Acid, uh, with Glutathione and Arbitin. I would just say Kojic Acid and, uh, Malic Acid so the Almond Shine Ko Koji Acid and Malic Acid so so um, My skin has been it feels like really irritated So when your skin starts to feel irritated, that's when you start to back off From using your skin products and afterwards you would go ahead and apply your sunscreen because you don't want to use uh, Beta um, hydroxy acid and go ahead and use anything such as a alpha hydroxy acid um, such as anything that contains like a small percent of glycolic, a um, glycolic acid which most um, skin lotions do contain um, you would have to apply your sunscreen so what I found out um, due to the fact that you know I am ethnic skin you know Afro-Hispanic um, or anyone that's like of a tan complexion you don't have like a really fair complexion such as most most Asians or most Caucasians or even African Americans who's ha who have like very fair skin um, and you have like sort of, of a medium complexion like mine or a very dark complexion sunscreen what it can do is tend to cause like a white overcast on the skin so what you would do first is go ahead and apply your Vaseline or your skin lotion of choice here so I have instant natural emu oil um, Emu Oil by Instant Natural. Just, this is 100% pure. Um, I believe this contains vitamin E. And yeah, I've been using this for, for such a long time that I haven't really paid attention to the bottle. But I, because I already know that the chemical, the um, chemicals, the ingredients in here are pretty much safe. So, I believe there's vitamin E in here. And then there's Emu Oil. So, I, I love it when there's just Emu Oil, period. But the vitamin E helps to preserve it and it also helps to give skin its elasticity along with um, the Emu Oil, which is the only oil in the market that is able to penetrate within, I believe, five to seven layers, six to seven layers of the skin. So I uh, always make sure that your Emu Oil is certified by the Emu Association, the American um, Association of Emu Birds. So the, um, AEIU, I believe it's called AEA, uh, American Emu Association. So, what you would go ahead and do is apply your emu oil, you apply your Vaseline, or go ahead and apply your lotion. Um, your facial lotion it could be your skin lightening lotion, it could be even a lotion that contains sunscreen, sunscreen as well. So. Uh, sunscreen and it, uh, as well double sunscreen protection is fine I mean, I mean as long as as I said you're using a lotion that contain already contains sunscreen in here it's it's okay like it's you're not going to you're not going to uh, receive any um, added extra but any um, extra added benefits to it so what this will basically do is hope to keep the um, sunscreen from leaving that white overcast on your skin. So then you will go ahead and apply this on top of your skin. And as you can see there, there is no white overcast. No white overcast here. So that's how you do it. And you won't have to worry, don't worry, because um, applying sunscreen over, I mean, people apply sunscreen over their makeup. They apply sunscreen over their primer or whatever it is. I'm not into makeup, but people apply sunscreen over everything when they're front, uh, you know, finished using it. Lotion, oils, whatever it is, the whole nine yard, you get it. And 
just keeps your skin from, as I say, and I'll say for the last time, having that white overcast is a great song. I'm going to be doing some research in here, some skin care research to find out about some new products so that I can go ahead and um, teach you guys about the various ways on how you can um, take care of your skin. Um, also, I will be discussing about some safe products out there on the market. I'm thinking about trying Denisha White, um, White Initials, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I know that Frank White is a friend her. Huh? I think that I believe that that's one of his friends. Um, and she seemed like a cool person, but I wouldn't use the product to um, whiten my skin. Like, I'll use it to basically lighten my skin. Like, how you see my skin right now, um, it's not as light as it is up here. If you're wondering why my nail is painted, I know that they, so most guys paint their nails in certain areas. I was trying to figure, I was supposed to YouTube it up. YouTube it up. Um, normally, you would say Google it up, but I'm going to say YouTube it up, since I am a YouTube head, and I am, like, constantly on YouTube all day. Um, I'm going to find out which area of the nails do guys paint because it's supposed to signify um, a guy who supports rape, like female, like it's supposed to, you know, like you paint a nail um, in support of those who suffer with cancer for rape victims and blah, 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 the whole nine yard. Um, so as you can see here, there's no white overcast. And it also gets the skin to glow like really well. So once you have enough in your skin, if it's a little bit too oily, what you would do is just get a piece of napkin and blot this off. So in this case, since I have to get in the shower, um, I'm gonna go ahead and blot this a little bit with my t-shirt. Sorry for my finger being in here. Just to get rid of a little bit of the oil and shine. And I'm hoping that my phone don't um, fall out the window here because I have it propped up here on top of the, um, the window um, thingy there. The lift for the window sill. Um, but I have a screen protector, uh, not screen protector, but I have like a really good case. So I can drop this phone from like two feet, three feet, and it'll be just fine. Um, you know, like. It won't break or anything. Like this case is really good and it's worth sixty dollars too. Like um it is basically called the um auto, the um auto box uh Defender Pro, which is like one of the best kit and it's worth sixty dollars. I have financed it basically through T Mobile but I could have paid it off. Next time I go ahead and pay it off when it comes to something like this, so this way I won't have to um be financed for it so I gotta get ready to call T-Mobile anyway bro but anyway do you have it you don't have like that white basically overcast so I used to have this button here which allowed me to snap pictures I don't know what's going on but I was able to snap pictures while I was um, doing what I was doing to take a screenshot like in between um, making a video. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I have to find out. So you also want to make sure you apply sunscreen to areas where it normally darkens up. And I mean like the neck area, um, the whole neck area, especially the ears. And the, I mean, if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt, that is, you wouldn't have to use it. But um, if not, go ahead and apply sunscreen to the areas where there is a lot of hyperpigmentation or darkening of the area. Like when I lighten my skin, this area normally becomes much lighter. So some of you ask me, how can you basically get yourself to get rid of, like how can you get rid of hyperpigmentation? How can you get rid of um, prob um, problem areas, meaning areas where the skin is just, I wouldn't say exceptionally, that's not the right word. But the area is where it is, like, it's just abnormally dark. Um, I don't know, but I'll find out. I never had that issue because as soon as I use, like, my Koji Acid Soap, which is still Koji, you know, Koji Acid. Um, Koji in Japanese means Kojic. Um, and it is very natural. I won't get into that, but anyway, um... I, as soon as I use my soaps, any of my skin whitening soaps, 
that goes for uh, fear and weight. Um, exclusive whitener with vitamin C that goes for even a regular one when I go ahead and use like the regular uh, exclusive whitener without the vitamin C that's the blue bar the vitamin the one with the vitamin C is an orange bar and all I'm shine for right now um, Koji white which is Kojic white translated to Kojic white in English um, from Koji which means Koji in Japan um, Whenever I go ahead and use the salt, I'll say for the last time, I don't have any issues, you know, like I'm able to uh, wash my face, but you know, and exfoliate like my hands really well because while I'm washing my face, I make sure that I leave and lather up the soap on my hands. So this way I'm washing both my hands and I wash my face. So for more questions, um, go ahead and leave um, that what in the comment section below below the comment section of this video um i will be discussing about some new products very very soon i can't wait and i will also uh go ahead and include some educational videos as well but as i said um nobody is hoping me to discuss about these videos i had tried to get you guys to become one of my patrons um patrons or however you say but you know what i'm saying what i'm trying to say is patreon um, and even PayPal, one of you donated some money to me like a while back and I thank you so much. I haven't even, like, I haven't even been able to touch that money yet because I lost my PayPal card. Uh, I lost my bank card, so, um, well, when it comes to, like, I'll be right back. So, when it comes to basically, uh, using, like, a certain bank account, because, you know, with the prepaid cards, you can use a bank account. And I am getting ready to get rid of, I mean... Well, you can't use like a regular credit card. You would have to use your bank and I'm not using like a bank right now. So, I mean, there's no reason for me to. I like to see my money and I like to have my money put up in a drawer for me or at least in a wallet that's sitting next to me or in my pocket so I don't use a bank. But the only bank that I do use that I really don't consider a bank is basically the bank account that's included on NetSpend. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Nespen, Nespen is a prepaid card where it allows you to um, do direct deposit. So say when you're getting it like a tax return, they normally offer you like a Nespen card. But I've been signed up for a Nespen card ever since I was in um, college, which is like 10 years ago. Um, and it's a really great card. Um, it used to be really cheap, but now the thing is just even more expensive than a damn credit card, and it's horrible. But anyway, here you have it. You don't see any... All you see is like enlarged pores. So these will be getting... I will definitely get rid of these. I used to believe these was like uh, um, depressed scars, but they're not. So I also remember one person that came to my channel, and they were like, oh, how are you going to, you know telling you guys like how are you going to take are uh, going to take advice um from someone that holds, has holding holes in your face and i was like you know people are just really ignorant like they don't understand you know like i also need to learn how to like look like when i'm looking at the camera because my eyes be like here yeah, like they, i need to learn how to um pay attention to the channel and looking at the camera like pointing directly towards me i need to buy cameras with it is so i'll be saving up for that but um anyway i forgot what i was just saying so but anyway besides that the point of the moral what i this video is based on is me um basically showing you and helping you um as far as uh <sighs> as far as how to get your sunscreen not to show so there you have it my lips is now moisturized uh, i'm getting ready to do a tca pill on my lip i don't know why my lips look so large but i guess because i have gained weight because when i'm like far away you can't really notice especially when i'm in a mirror like i don't have any lips like my lips are like really just and my nose, like, um, I I really want to get not, like, the full rhinoplasty, but there's something really that they do where they go, at, they go and take, like, an injection and put it in the nose. So, girl, I'm trying to get me, like, my hands on, like, some money, like, and I will. And I'll use that money to invest in my channel even more. As I said, I have 14,000, almost 15,000 subscribers. So, it's about 14,300 and something. As soon as I hit, like, uh, 100 and something more, 
it'd be considered 15,000 because uh, 14, anything with 500, it could be 12,500, that would be considered 13,000, 14,500 would be considered 15,000 and so forth. So I'm getting ready to hit the 15,000 mark, even though um, it's not like literally not 15,000 subscribers, it's still, it makes you a little happy and I'm getting ready to hit 3 million views. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. I wasn't expecting this like at all but my channel is really growing i have lost some subscribers we all lose subscribers and that's okay like you you always gain it back but enough of the chit chatting i'm i'm going to go ahead and chill out and relax and probably play some video games i don't know do some video editing and you know just edit some videos and just talk to my friends and my family and that's that i hope you all are having a great day um, I love you all and take care. So I want to thank those of you. Thank you so much for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. For those of you who are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead, go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my videos. Give me, you know, give me a like, like my videos. Give me a huge thumbs up, smash that like button, and leave a comment underneath the comment section below. I hope all, I hope you all are having a great day, as I said before. And I love you so much and take care. Bye.